In a gripping encounter at the Emirates Stadium, the Arsenal women's team faced Chelsea, leaving fans questioning the future of manager Jonas Eideval after a disappointing 2-1 defeat. The Gunners entered this match with hope, but quickly found themselves in a precarious position, struggling to maintain their footing in the Women's Super League. With the season only four games in, Arsenal finds themselves trailing Chelsea by four points, and having picked up just five points overall. To make matters worse, they had recently suffered a humiliating 5-2 defeat against Bayern Munich in the Champions League, further amplifying the pressure on Eideval and his squad. From the outset, it was evident that Arsenal's defense was under siege. Chelsea's attack was relentless, and the Gunners were unable to keep up. The Blues took the lead within the first four minutes thanks to a corner kick. In a moment of irony, Eideval had discussed the team's preparation for set pieces during the pre-match interview, highlighting the threat Chelsea posed. However, Latte Wubben Mondi and Alessia Russo failed to clear the ball effectively, allowing Millie Bright to flick it towards Myra Ramirez. The Colombian striker showcased her creativity, scoring with a clever back-heeled effort that sent Chelsea fans into a frenzy. The pressure mounted for Arsenal, as Chelsea doubled their lead before the 20-minute mark. Lauren James executed a skillful cross to the back post, where Sandy Baltimore was left unmarked, slotting the ball past Arsenal's goalkeeper, Daphne van Domselaar. Arsenal's defensive vulnerabilities were exposed once again, reminiscent of their prior defeat to Bayern. The Gunners struggled to regain composure, but a glimmer of hope emerged just before halftime. Caitlin Ford demonstrated her attacking prowess, evading Lucy Bronze and finding the net with a precise shot, bringing the score to 2-1. Despite an electric atmosphere with nearly 46,000 fans cheering them on in the second half, Arsenal was unable to capitalize on their momentum. They began to look more organized, and substitutes Frida Matinum and Stina Blackstenius injected fresh energy into the team. Blackstenius notably struck the crossbar late in the match, further illustrating Arsenal's mounting frustration. However, Chelsea's defense held strong showcasing their resilience as they weathered Arsenal's attempts to equalize. The loss raises significant questions about the trajectory of Eideval's tenure at Arsenal. As they prepare to host Norwegian side Valerenga in their upcoming match, time is of the essence. There is an urgent need for reflection and strategic adjustments if Arsenal hopes to reclaim their status as serious title contenders in the Women's Super League. Fans are left pondering whether the club can turn around their fortunes or if Eideval's time in charge is running out. The stakes are high, and the pressure is palpable as the Gunners embark on the next chapter of their season. Stay subscribed for more videos.